Hey there everyone, I hope everyone is well. Today we're going to be replacing my air filter in my 2016 Ford Ranger PX2. Let's get into it. Yeah! Alrighty guys, so I've just been down to Super Cheap Hordo um, and purchased myself a Ryko air filter. So the good thing about going to Super Cheap Auto is that basically they have their little computer screens down each aisle. You can basically just put in your vehicle details into that monitor and it will tell you which um, product you need for your vehicle. Now I've had my vehicle um, for almost one year. I bought this vehicle secondhand. I've had it serviced three times in the time that I've owned this vehicle. And as far as I'm aware from the uh, receipts that I've got from my services is that my air filter hasn't been replaced, it's only been cleaned. So today we're going to open this all up and I'll show you what's inside. For those of you that maybe want to purchase your air filter online, if you want to get the same brand as me, I will leave a link in the description below. This is the A1784. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is make sure that the engine isn't running. The second thing you need to do is remove this connection. So you just pull on this little red lever right here, which basically is a locking mechanism. Just pull on that and it should release the connection. There's three metal clips on the air filter itself, on the air filter cover. So just release them. And then basically this should just pop right up. And there's my air filter. So as you can see from that, she's had a fair bit of wear and tear. She's even got a dead wasp on the inside there. So it shows that it's doing its job and keeping the, the nasty things out that we don't need to be going inside. A little bit of silicone, no idea where that's come from. And there's quite a few dead bugs in there as well. So this would be the time that basically just get in there, give it a nice clean whilst you've got the old one out before you put the new one in. So I'm going to use my trusty Dyson to get all these nasty bugs out of there. Some little bits of pebble in there as well. So once you've cleaned it out, all you need to do is put your new one in. So as you can see, the difference between the old and the new. Now from memory, I think this cost me about 60 or 70 bucks. I have no idea how long this one's been in there for. She's all twisted up compared to these ones that are nice and straight. Now I know that some of the mechanics just basically take these out and get an air compressor on there and just blow it clean. All right, so let's put the new one in. Now as you can see, there's a little knobble there. So basically you can't put it in wrong. There's a little knobble inside the actual housing here. So just push that down and then just put the cover back on top. Connect the three clips that you unclipped. And reconnect your plug. Make sure you push the red locking mechanism and just give it a little tug to make sure that it's uh, nice and secured. The car should now be safe to uh, start up. And dispose of your old one accordingly. So there you have it guys, that's how you replace an air filter in a Ford Ranger PX2. It takes you two minutes to do and it can be easily done by yourself. So there you go guys, give us a thumbs up if you liked it, subscribe to the channel, and press that bell notification button so you guys are notified next time I put a video up.